exciting to be able to join you again today for story time. Um, my name is Miss Jennifer and I'm the children's librarian here at the Ohio County Public Library and Miss Denise is joining us today as well. So we're so excited. You know, the last couple of months we've been talking all about animals. We've done backyard animals and we've done uh, pets and we did farm animals and today we're going to go and have some stories about a very important place that centers all around animals and that's the zoo. You might love going to the zoo in the fall. It's a great kind of field trip or an activity is to go to the zoo in the fall. I went to the zoo just the other day and so we're going to be sharing with you some animals that probably most of us will never see out in nature. We will only see them by going to the zoo. All right. So speaking of animals, one of my favorite animals is alligators. So wherever you are, I want you to stand up. We're going to get our alligators out. We put our hands together like this and we go, A is for alligator. Chomp, chomp, chomp. B is for bouncing. So we'll hop, hop, hop. C is for circle, so let's turn around. And D is for we all sit down. And we crisscross applesauce, ready to be a listener. Miss Denise is going to start us off with a story. Are you ready to listen? We are going to read Polar Bear, Polar Bear, What Do You Hear? By Bill Martin, Jr. And the pictures are by Eric Carl. Polar bear, polar bear, what do you hear? I hear a lion roaring in my ear. Lion, lion, what do you hear? I hear a hippopotamus snorting in my ear. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus, what do you hear? I hear a flamingo fluting in my ear. Flamingo, flamingo, what do you hear? I hear a zebra braying in my ear. Zebra, zebra, what do you hear? I hear a boa constrictor hissing in my ear. Boa constrictor, boa constrictor, what do you hear? I hear an elephant trumpeting in my ear. Elephant, elephant, what do you, you hear? I hear a leopard snarling in my ear. Leopard, leopard, what do you hear? I hear a peacock yelping in my ear. Peacock, peacock, what do you hear? I hear a walrus bellowing in my ear. Walrus, walrus, what do you hear? I hear a zookeeper whistling in my ear. Zookeeper, zookeeper, what do you hear? I hear children growling like a polar bear, roaring like a lion, snorting like a hippopotamus, fluting like a flamingo. Braying like a zebra, hissing like a boa constrictor, trumpeting like an elephant, snarling like a leopard, yelping like a peacock, and bellowing like a walrus. That's what I hear. The end. That was so much fun. I love that story. Did you recognize all the different sounds that animals make? They make sounds like roaring and bellowing and trumpeting. I love that, that word trumpeting. When I think of how an elephant, the sound that an elephant makes, it sounds like a trumpet. It goes, right? Sounds like a trumpet. I love that word. Thank you, Miss Denise. I'm going to share with you a fun story about on the first day at the zoo. This is what I saw. A monkey in a banana tree. <laughs> Can you make that sound? <laughs> On the second day at the zoo, this is what I saw. 
two squawking parrots. Can you squawk like a parrot? Squawk, squawk. And a monkey in a banana tree. <laughs> On my third day at the zoo, this is what I saw. Three slithering snakes. Can you do a snake? Two squawking parrots. Squawk, squawk. And a monkey in a banana tree. <laughs> On my fourth day. Day at the zoo, this is what I saw. Four hopping frogs, boing, boing. Three slithering snakes, two squawking parrots, squawk, squawk. And a monkey in a banana tree. <laughs> On my fifth day at the zoo, this is what I saw. Five roaring lions. Can you roar like a lion? Roar. Four hopping frogs. Boing, boing. Three slithering snakes. Two squawking parrots. Squawk, squawk. And a monkey in a banana tree. <laughs> Good job. There are so many fun sounds that the animals in the zoo make. But one of my favorite stories about going to the zoo is about a very curious frog. You see, one day there was a frog and he was very curious. And so he hopped away from his pond and decided he was going to go exploring at the zoo to see what the animals at the zoo ate for breakfast. And so he hopped over to the zoo and when he met his first animal, his first animal that he met was a giraffe. And he said, hi, I am a wide mouth frog. And I was wondering, what kind of animal are you and what do you eat for your breakfast? And the giraffe said, well, I'm a giraffe and I eat leaves out of the trees for my breakfast. Oh, well, I eat flies for my breakfast, said the wide mouth frog, and he took a big old slurp and found a fly. Just like that, he sucked a fly up, and he went hopping through the zoo, through the zoo to meet some more animals. The next animal that he met was an elephant, and he said, elephant said, well, I'm an elephant and I eat peanuts and hay and straw and grass for my breakfast. Oh, well, I'm a wide mouth frog and I eat flies for my breakfast, said the wide mouth frog and he sucked up another fly and he went hopping through the zoo to meet some more animals. The next animal that he met was a monkey. And he said, hi, what kind of animal are you and what do you eat for your breakfast? And the monkey said, well, I eat bananas for my breakfast. Oh, said the wide mouth frog. I am a wide mouth frog and I eat flies for my breakfast. And he slurped one up just like that. And he hopped along a little bit farther. The next animal that he saw was,
has to do if he works at the zoo is he has to make sure that he keeps all the animals nice and clean. So he gives them a bath, even the elephants. Can you imagine if elephants had to take a bath in a bathtub? There was one elephant in the tub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. All right, one plus one equals, now how many? Two, two elephants in the tub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. <gasps> two plus one more equals three. Three elephants in the tub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. All right, we're gonna add one more. Here comes another one. He knocked on the door and was invited in. Now we have four elephants in the tub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, come on in. I don't know if this tub can take very much more, but we're going to add one more elephant. Five elephants in the tub going for a swim. Knock, knock, splash, splash, they all fall in. Good job. <laughs> well, what color are elephants? Gray, right? Most of the time, elephants are gray. But Miss Denise is going to close us out with a color story all about if we used our imagination and we dreamed about elephants, we could probably dream some elephants in a lot of different colors than just plain gray. <laughs> I know I could. Let's see what color elephants we can dream of. Jumping and playing the whole morning through. I dream of an elephant whose color is blue, right? Friends all around, what a popular fellow. I dream of an elephant whose color is yellow. Watch out flowers, she's skipping ahead. I dream of an elephant whose color is red. This elephant is shy. He doesn't like to be seen. I dream of an elephant whose color is green. Good job. So lazy and large, he just has to sit down. I dream of an elephant whose color is brown. Do you notice how we're rhyming? Let's see. She wants to be friends. She'll give you a wink. I dream of an elephant whose color is This elephant is huge, not small like a turtle. I dream of an elephant whose color is purple. Oh no, he is orange. How will I rhyme? I'll dream of this elephant some other time. Together at last, this colorful team, when orange elephants sleep, I wonder if they dream. Good job. <laughs> wow, did you hear the rhyming, the kind of the color rhymes that were in the poem? Sometimes you can guess what the color is going to be by listening for the rhyme. Well, I love seeing elephants at the zoo, but my favorite are probably the monkeys. I love monkeys. They are so much fun. Let's do a song all about a monkey. So we're going to stand up kind of where you are. We're going to pretend like we're climbing a coconut tree. We're going to climb and then we're going to take our hand. We're going to make a fist. This is going to be the coconut and it's going to come down and hit you on the knee. Ouch! Hit that little monkey on the knee. Then we're going to wrap our arms. We're going to give ourselves like a big hug and a kiss and we're going to go. His mom's going to come and give him a kiss and then we're going to climb up the coconut tree again and be a monkey. <laughs> Be monkey wherever you are. Are you ready? So, uh, the itsy bitsy monkey climbed up the coconut tree. Down came a coconut and bumped him on his knee. Ouch! Out came his mom to 
Kiss away the pain and the itsy bitsy monkey climbed up the tree again. <laughs> Be a silly monkey wherever you are. That was so much fun. Your craft that I'm going to be dropping off with your teacher is going to be a monkey climbing up a tree. So I hope you enjoy that. But it's time for us to get ready to go. Now next month, whenever we come, um, we're going to be, or coming, or do, sending you all a video, we're actually going to be doing dinosaurs. So we've been doing kind of animals that are alive. We're going to do animals that are extinct for Dinovember. So we're going to have some dinosaur stories. But it's time for our hands to give thanks. Are you ready? Our hands give thanks with a clap, clap, clap. Our feet give thanks with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. We roll them together and we wave goodbye.